it going guys? So it was half off day at the Goodwill today. Uh, actually yesterday and today, Friday and Saturday it's happening. So I figured I would show you guys what I got from the Goodwill on Friday. I spent uh, $62 on everything and then I also got a lot of video game stuff from one of the connections I have at the local dump. So I'll show you that too. Alright, so it was half off day at the Goodwill and the first thing I got, well not the first thing, but one of the things I got is a vintage 90s Feel a jacket. Um, what an ugly color it is, but you know, I, I've sold a few Feel a jackets like this, so I'll probably get $25, $30 for it. But this is all Canadian pricing, too. Alright. The next piece of clothing, I don't do tons of clothing, but half off days are usually when I grab them. It's just uh, Columbia Sportswear with the dry fit technology. Again, I'll probably get $18 for this. 15 not a huge profit, but the uh, sportswear ones seem to do good. A uh, pair of slim fit Hugo Boss jeans. They are pretty clean. Um, again, probably just 15 to 18 on those ones. Nothing too crazy. I'll just bang through the clothes pretty quick. I think those were size 36, if anyone cares. Uh, an Adidas t-shirt, it looks brand new and it smells brand new and it uh, still has a sticker on the back so I might sell that new with their tags, just a nice Adidas logo. Again, probably just a $12 to $14 t-shirt, nothing crazy there. But when it's half off and you're paying $3 for them, it's not that big of a deal. Next thing is a Nautica sweatshirt and it is a newer one, not vintage, and I got it because it is still new with tags. It has an original $115 price tag marked down to $79. So I will probably list that at $55 just to move it quick. It's really nice though, size large. Uh, and then, you know, it's not always about making money. You gotta get stuff for yourself too, right? So Volcom shirt for myself, t-shirt. This is not for me, this one's for resale. It's a uh, Nautica 100% cotton, large button down, like a Hawaiian style shirt. This one is used, not new with tags. So again, the 18 to $20 mark, it'll get listed for. Uh, here's something to watch out for. I have not sold one of these before, but looking them up, good money, guys. Let me see the symbol first. They're size 38. And they're Benjamin Bixby jeans. Tag on the back. And uh, these these big pair. These things new are fetching well over the $150 mark. So, and I mean these are super clean. The bottoms, like the hem on the pants, aren't worn out like they usually are here, especially in Canada. These hang at the end of your boot and they get caught in that salt and crap on the roads and it just destroys them. These are really, really clean. So, you know, hopefully 80 to to $100 for these. So I was pretty excited to find those on the half off. There's no one even really in the jeans section. And then, to top, Bugatti Omo shirt. I don't do amazing often. They're not like super quick sellers. I'll get 20 bucks for this shirt type deal. Uh, it's a nice stripe pattern, just a large. And then, I normally wouldn't pick up these, but they were 50 cents a piece, a lot of them. I'll probably only honestly get like $10 for them shipped. But they are just your strategy guides, and they're just, yeah, strategy guides. That's it, video game strategy guides. I do all right off them. Just random stuff. This is for Skylanders. I know it's not as big anymore. But, I mean, a lot of together, I'll probably get about $10 for those. Not a huge profit, but when they're only 50 cents, you know, whatever. All right, this is the last of the Goodwill stuff. What do we got here? All right, a Sim City Society. I have no idea what this is worth. I haven't looked it up yet, but it is sealed new. And video games, I mean, when they're sealed new and it's half off date, it's only a dollar. It's definitely gonna sell for more than a dollar. I know that. Uh, grab a couple VHS movies. These on Canada Amazon are 
fetching about 15 a piece. So yeah, Adventures in Odyssey. I don't know, I, I kid I, I kinda remember this as a child, but barely. I'm not sure it's from 96, it says on the back in 91. Anyways, yeah, they're bringing 15 a piece, half off day, so those are 50 cents a piece. And then... I already counted it, it is complete, but a 3D Star Trek puzzle. It's bringing, uh, I believe it was $18 on Amazon. It was half off, so it was a dollar for this. And eBay, I've seen a few sell for roughly the same price, $10 to $15. Again, nothing crazy high value other than them jeans. I haven't looked this up yet. I paid, uh, it was $5 and it was half off, so I paid $2.50 for it. It's Goodwill, they round up, so I probably honestly paid three for it. But it's a nice Crown Royal backpack, and I opened it up. It, it, I thought maybe it'd be a cooler on the inside or something. It's not really, though, it doesn't have any cooler material. But it smells brand new. It smells like it was never used. And then the next thing is a Poodle clipping and grooming book. I just saw it sitting there, it came wheeling out on the cart as they were bringing stuff up. Gave it a quick scan and it's bringing $22.50 on FBA in Canada. So it will get sent to Amazon. The last thing I got at the Goodwill was a old Sony Discman. I don't know what this one's worth. I know the Panasonic Shockwave and the yellow Sony Discmans bring $30, $40, $50 dollars depending on the condition if they're with the box and other accessories. This was $5 on the See, they're on the half off sale, so it's $2.50. It's clean, it works. It's even got a DC power adapter if you want to use it. And if you guys are checking old electronics that are battery operated, open the compartment and check in there and make sure it's not all corroded from battery acid. Yeah, Sony Discman, you know, I might fetch 15, 20 bucks for it. We'll see, I gotta look that up. Now, the uh, more exciting thing I picked up was from the connection I have at the local dump. I got a bunch of uh, video game stuff, so I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Okay guys, this is the cool stuff. Stuff you've been waiting for. Uh, they were disgustingly dirty. Obviously, they came from a dump, so they're gonna be dirty. Uh, some of them I've cleaned up. I cleaned up one of the Nintendos, and I cleaned up the Super Nintendo. But uh, they all came with controls, wires, cords, all that fun stuff. There is the first Nintendo. I did clean it up, the lid is a little yellowed on the front face. Um, works perfectly. You know, I'll, I'll get, I'll bundle this with two controllers and a Mario Duck Hunt game, which each Nintendo, the key with Mario Duck Hunt games, I got two Nintendos, so each Nintendo will get loaded up with a Mario Duck Hunt, two controllers, and the controllers are in decent shape. Uh, they're not too yellow, too dirty. I do wrap the cords, it looks nicer, because uh, this one I've already cleaned. But yeah, basically two controllers, the system, the wires, Mario Duck Hunt, and a gun. And I should, I usually get $125 on Amazon or eBay. Then the next console is a Sega Saturn. I have yet to clean this one, it is filthy and dusty. Tested it though, it does power on, it works. Came with one controller, all the wires. I won't pull every wire and controller out of the box, I'll just kind of tip the box up for you guys so you can see uh, what's in the box instead of me pulling each one out. And then a couple of games that came with this lot were Sim City for the Super Nintendo, it's about a $15 game, $10 game. Uh, Rad Racer for the NES, again it's like a $8 to $10 game, nothing crazy there. Uh, Sega Saturn, I'll probably sell this a lot with this NASCAR game because it's only about a $10 game. Uh, and, I, and I should get about $100, $105 for the Saturn with one controller, the game, wires, stuff like that. Another Mario game, obviously just gets modded in with the one NES. Pilot Wings, that's a uh, about a $10 game, $10, $15 game. This one wasn't labeled, I tried it out. It is uh, World Junior Baseball. Again, just a couple dollar game, it's a sports game. Honestly, I'll probably throw it in free with one of the Nintendos when I ship it out. And then NES Open, again good shape, you're all tested working, just another $10 game, nothing crazy. So the last thing I got, or well part of this video game lot, was a bunch of Intellivision games and a few Atari games, Asteroids and some football game. You guys can see them there, they're pretty dirty. The uh, Intellivision games are these ones, two Atari ones are up here. They won't bring much money. Um, you know, maybe $10 for the whole lot, which whatever, it's just added profit onto the rest of this stuff. The case is really dirty, but I'll keep the case for myself once it's cleaned up, just because I have some television games and stuff like that I could make use of this case for. That 
That about does it for the uh, video game lot and the Goodwill haul. I mean, I'll show you the box with all the cords and extra controllers and stuff, just so you can see. It's all in there. Not bad for a $200 pickup. I still gotta go through it all, clean it up, and uh, get it all listed. I do have the one Nintendo and the what? Well, the Super Nintendo sold already, but I had the one Nintendo and Super Nintendo listed. I still gotta clean up the Saturn, get it listed. Tested all the games, though they all work. The last thing I have to show you is that old computer off uh, Kijiji, basically someone replied to one of my ads that states I'm looking for vintage video games, uh, computers, electronics, there's a whole list of stuff. Alright guys, I don't know if you can guess what it is yet, but uh, there it is all zipped up, so I'll, I'll get it uh, unzipped and unfolded. And this is all the original casing for it. Came with the original uh, manual, and it's an IBM It's an IBM model p70 386 and it's a personal system 2 or ps2 came with the mouse it's a little yellow instructions power cord uh system operation discs and we'll get this unzipped here you can leave it in the case if you'd like So it can stay in the case if you'd like it to. And there's just two little tabs. You give them a little pull, or push in I should say. And your keyboard drops out, and there is your screen. And then you have a little, there it goes. And then you have your disc drive right here. And it, it does work. Again, as always guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want little updates, I'd say follow me again on Instagram. The links will be down below. Focus on my fingers. Well, they're down there. It's not focusing on the fingers, but you can check the link down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. Bye.